Hi, we're the Potter Masters. She's Maria. She's Holly. And we're here every Monday playing Harry Potter quizzes on Sporkle. We have what I assume is kind of a choose your own adventure quiz. Is that what we're getting into? I don't know. It, it says, says tread carefully. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if it's going to be hard. It sounds hard with the title yeah. like tread carefully. Yeah. But I'm excited. How um, could you not be excited? Yeah. It's in the description if you'd like to play before we do. And here we go. So it's Chamber Tread of carefully. Secrets. <laughs> yeah, Chamber of Secrets. Can you name the single path through the dangerous plot of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Okay, so maybe not choose your own adventure, but... You find a small... Oh, that's the same. Oh, it's the same here and here. Okay. okay. You find a small weathered book tucked away on shelf. It has the letters JK inscribed on the letter binding. Type open to stop reading it or shelf to put it back. Tread carefully. Uh-oh. So I guess we have to start reading it. Seems like shelf, shelf would just done. end the quiz. <laughs> no, okay. okay. Open. Wise choice. You open the book and start to read. Your life is about to change. Oh, is that our Hogwarts letter? Just kidding. It's your birthday and your uncle's having a dinner party, but not for you. You and Hedwig, your owl, have been confined to your bedroom while Mr. Dursley, your uncle, hosts. Mr. and Mrs. Mason discuss drills. Discuss. Oh, they discuss drills. Yeah, it's definitely drills. Mason. Mason. There's someone or something on your bed. Were the were these the green eyes you saw earlier? Dobby the house elf introduces himself. He seems quite upset. You ask him to sit down and he explains there is a plot against you and you must not return to Hogwarts. You must not return to Hogwarts. Okay. Dobby has been hiding your letters and when pressed he gets out of hand causing much commotion by the bowl of pudding. It's smashing a bowl of pudding the bowl of pudding. Using the hover charm. Okay. Great. Uncle Vernon is furious. You're locked up in the house with bars. But wait. Who's this outside your window? Ron and his brothers have rescued you with the help of their father's flying car. You return to the burrow, their home. What a wonderful place. It is a wonderful place. Super wonderful. Love it. <laughs> you meet some gnomes, meet, J you chase some gnomes, meet Jimmy, Ginny, oh my god. <laughs> Jimmy, what's up? <laughs> and the rest of the family and settle in Ron's, Ron's room, which is plastered with violent shades of orange, the color of Ron's favorite Quidditch team. He's a Chudley Cannons. Chudley Cannons. I've played uh, Spork Alive with the Chudley Cannons as my team name. Whoa, nerd. Which I know. <laughs> Sure, they're ninth in the league, but still. But still. You're supposed to travel by flu powder to Diagon Alley, but this is your first time, and it's not as easy as it sounds. You get a little lost and catch the Malfoys, up to no good, but they don't see you. Hagrid finds you, and it's off to find your second year books. Checking your list, they're mostly books by this Lockhart guy. Sounds expensive. <laughs> you browse the books. Which of these is not on your list? I think Marauding with Monsters is not one of his books. Yeah. Yeah, I was okay. a little worried about that one. <laughs> Okay. Hmm, that's not one of his more popular books. Didn't you see that in a video game once? I don't know. I don't really play video games. Right? More of a board game girl. <laughs> I know, definitely. It's time for a new school year. Somewhere at the Weasleys. Should oh. that have an apostrophe? I feel like no. Mm, at the Weasleys house. Yeah. I think it does have an apostrophe. Okay. Was the best you ever had, and now it's time to get serious. Second year, and now you've missed the train. That's pretty serious. Uh-oh. Ron and you take the flying car instead, and you almost don't make it. After a literal run with the whomping tree and breaking Ron's wand, you get busted by Snape. You're not expelled this time. You finally make it to your dormitory, but the password's been changed. Now it's... Oh, Lord. I know uh, Bobbles was one at one point, but wasn't it was that around Christmas. Like Christmas or Valentine's? I think it's odds. Okay, that's what I thought, too. No, no! it wasn't. Okay, so we have to... We have to do it again. What does it say? It says wrong and now you can't get in. You're caught in the halls and now you're expelled. Brilliant. Cool. So we've been expelled once. Who doesn't get expelled once or twice? Anglia. Okay. Okay. So now we're back. So it wasn't Bottle Are we gonna, was it Waddle Was it Waddlebird? Yeah. Okay. I do not remember that as a spell. Mm-mm. He made it at last. Phew. What an entrance. Your flying car rival will be remembered for years to come. I mean, of course it will. Yeah, epic. You meet Professor Lockhart outside the greenhouse just before Sprout's Mandrake lesson. He's the new Defense Against the Dark Earth teacher and introduces himself as Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin the Third Class, honorary member of the Dark For Force Defense League, and five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming, Charming Smile. Smile. Yep. Yay. Not that he talks about such things. Oh, no. He didn't get rid of the ba oh. abandoned banshee by smiling at her. And then he goes, huh, <laughs> <laughs> in the movies. <laughs> Quidditch practice, and you find out Malfoy has been made the new seeker for the Slytherins. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in, Hermione quips. Oh, no. Did Draco just call her a mudblood? Oh, no. This escalated quickly. <laughs> Ron tries to curse him, but it backfires, and now he's burping slugs. Ew. That, that was really gross. That was so gross. You get him sorted with Hagrid's help, and now you're 
you're doing detention with Lockhart and hearing voices. It's oh. the second one. Let me rip you. Let me yeah. tear you. Let me kill you. Yeah, it's the second one. Kill. Yes. Okay. Nobody else hears it. Was it just in your head? But does that make it not real? Or whatever? <laughs> That was good. Thank you. That was good. <laughs> it um, is October, okay. and Nearly Headless Nick invites you to his 500th death day party. All the ghosts are there, including Moaning Myrtle, who Hermione insults. You hear the voice again, and the three of you follow it. Suddenly, you come across Mrs. Norris hanging underneath this, scrawled on the wall with high, foot high letters. The Chamber okay. of Secrets has been opened. Enemies, Enemies of, of the, the air, air beware. beware. The air of Slytherin is eye. Nye. The hour of the air is here. These are kind of good deep I know. Boys. This is fun. Yes. Beware. Here we go. Beware. You'll be next, mudbloods. Draco sneers. I feel like he should have gotten in trouble for saying yeah, that. Yeah, that is bad. There are teachers in that time. Like, they didn't do anything. Standing around. They don't care. I think that, like, McGonagall would have been like, uh, Been like, Malfoy, mm -hmm. go to my office or yeah. something. Binns reluctantly reveals the myth of the Chamber of Secrets built by Salazar Slytherin hidden deep in the school. The legend says it contains a vile monster. They didn't know it was a snake. That seems dumb. That seems so They should have known dumb. it was a snake. <laughs> like, how obvious is it that it's not? Only the heir of Slytherin can control? Obviously, it's a snake. Speaks Come parcel tongue. Guys. Hello. That, ugh. That just infuriates me. Unleashed, it will purge the school of all those unworthy of studying magic. All the muggle-borns. You begin to wonder if you are the heir. Oh, because we're Harry. Sorting Hat not capitalized, not a character. Woo! Sorting Hat did want to put you in Slytherin, or maybe it's Malfoy. You need to decide. Need some Polyjuice Potion to transform yourselves and spy on the Slytherins. The recipe is in this book. Most, Most potent, potent potions. potions. Most. With an e. It's going to be tough getting that book and all the ingredients. Hermione tricks Lockhart with his own pride and gets the book from the restricted section. This is the most complicated spell she's ever seen. You have a month or so to gather all the ingredients. You're nervous about the Quidditch match against the Slytherins and with good cause. Someone is tampered with a bludger and it smashes into you and breaks your arm. You still manage to win. Yay! Lockhart tries to fix you up and now you have no bones at all in your arm. Oh. Mom here. I love the decoys here. New yeah. bones. It's definitely a uh, Skelligrow. That's so <laughs> cute. Okay, love it. Skelligrow. Skelligrow. There we go. Dobby appears as you are healing and lets it slip that the chamber is real and Cravey has been petrified. The chamber is open. Christmas oh, but it's Christmas, so yeah, so it's fine. <laughs> How cheery. Christmas is nearing, and the holidays will be the perfect time to use Polyjuice Potion to get a confession from Malfoy. That's You're able right. to steal some of the ingredients from Snape. There have been more attacks, Justin and Nick. No. There's a posting about the dueling club, and you all join. During the match, it is revealed that you are a parcel, parcel mouth. mouth. <laughs> it's revealed that you're a half-blood. <laughs> okay. You can speak with snakes, and suspicion is growing among the students that you are the heir. Yeah. I mean, Suspicious. I would probably suspect uh, that, yeah. too. But yet no one suspects that the monster is a, a snake. snake. However, Dumbledore doesn't believe you're responsible for the recent attacks. It's Christmas Day, and the Yay. potion is ready. All you need is something from the people you want to change into. You put Crab and Goyle to sleep and pluck hairs for them for Ron and you. Hermione has gotten her sample already. Or has she? To turn into Millicent Bolstrode's Millicent. <laughs> I wonder if Millicent ever went by Millie. <laughs> Yo, Millie, how's your day? She seems so serious of a character and, like, probably wouldn't. Oops, that was a cat hair. This will take her some time to recover from. Oh, well. You and Ron were able to infiltrate and find out that Draco is not the heir. Following screams from an out-of-order girl's bathroom, you find that someone has thrown a book at Myrtle. It's a soggy diary of T.M. Riddle, but it's blank. That's not very useful. Not at all. You decide to write in the diary, and it writes back. <laughs> what? It's Tom Riddle. It's like magic. <laughs> <laughs> Excited, you write back and forth with Tom as he explains that the chamber was opened 50 years ago. He offers to show you his memories of it, you agree, and are sucked into the pages as the diary turns to this date. Oh, geez. I'm oh. going to guess June 13th because I think it was close to the end of school. And I think so. Tom Valdi was like, well, I can't have it not open up. Like, I this is my home. Blah, blah, yeah, blah. I think it's definitely not the 14th. Yeah, so it's got to be June. Tom shows you what happened, and it seems that Hagrid was the one who opened the chamber and unleashed the monster, monster all those years ago. No, not Hagrid. Like my shirt. Hagrid. Oh. <laughs> You're a expelled wizard, Hag I know, Hagrid. Right? It's been nearly four months since just since Justin and Nick were petrified. How things, can you have four months without? They're waiting that's for the sad. mandrakes to grow I know, up. But that's sad. Uh, things are quiet lately at Hogwarts, and people being very 
nice to you. Maybe this whole thing is past, or maybe not. Your room has been ransacked, and the diary is missing. No! You hear the sinister voice again. Hermione has an idea and rushes off to the library as you head for your Quidditch match, which has just been canceled. What's going on? Professor McGonagall pulls you and Ron away. There's been another attack. Hermione, oh no, and who else? Well, uh, Penelope. Sneaking out with your invisibility cloak, you decide it's time to talk to Hagrid. You hide just in time as Hagrid is sent to Azkaban. No, and Dumbledore is suspended. What? But Hagrid gave you a clue. Yes, Hagrid told you to follow the spiders, and so you did. No, thank you. In the Forbidden Forest, you find Aragog, Hagrid's giant pet spider. Explains that he was believed to be the spider from this chamber and that he killed a girl at Hogwarts but Hagrid protected him. Hagrid was innocent. Yay! It occurs to you that the girl killed 50 years ago was Moaning Myrtle. She died on... Oh, the but year. But the year. Um, I think it was 52, but let's do the math. It was 92, and then it was 50 years ago. So it would be 42. It would be 42. What? Did we do that wrong? Well, I thought it was 50 years ago. It's 1943 because it's the end of the year. Oh my god. We're, we're so dumb. <laughs> it's 1940, yeah, because okay. the year started in 42. Okay, so we're entering Fang. Dang it. That's so That's irritating. That's just us being idiots. <laughs> okay. What an idiot. Fang. Okay, 1943. There we go. Okay. okay. That's right, the same day Tom Riddle took you to. So, whoever killed Myrtle likely had access to the chamber. Exams are still a go, unfortunately. Wait, question. This yeah. is way bigger deal than Coral and Voldemort last year. People are being petrified, they're about to close the school, and they didn't, they canceled exams first year, but not this year. Exams should have been canceled. Well, McGonagall was in charge. Instead that's of Dumbledore. All exams are canceled. <laughs> Dumbledore is like so much more laid back and kind of like crazy. Anyway. Okay. You decide to go to the bathroom to question Myrtle, but McGonagall catches you. You visit Hermione instead and find that she's clutching a page from the library. A basilisk. That's <gasps> what the snake. monster is. And you speak snake, so that's why you can hear it. <laughs> Slithering through the spike. Obviously, this is so stupid. Saying how smart Dumbledore is, like how did he not realize it. I know. And like he can find these weird horcruxes in these insane places but he can't find the snake in his own school. There's been another attack, Ginny this time, and she's been taken to the Not chamber. Ginny. You need to tell the teachers everything. Lockhart has been chosen to rescue Ginny but he's a coward and tries to make a run for it. You get past the entrance to the chamber of secrets but Lockhart steals Ron's wand and tries to wipe your memories with the Obliviate. Obliviate, yeah. If I could type it. There That's we okay. Go. Typing is, you know, hard. You do yeah. a lot. I don't have to do any of that. I just get to sit here and <laughs> Do nothing. Yes, but the wand backfires, explodes, and Lockhart's memory is wiped instead. And now you're trapped alone in the chamber. There's Ginny, but she's barely alive. And there's Tom Riddle. What? Invoke Tom? From his, no. Invoke from his diary sitting on the floor. You only put down your wand for a second, and now Tom has it. No! Harry, what an idiot. And he's not the friend you think he is. He tells you how Ginny has been writing in the book for months months how he has been controlling her oh, poor how Jenny. he framed Hagrid he tells you everything suddenly Fox and the sorting hat swoop down Riddle sneers a songbird and an old hat do you feel brave Harry Potter do you feel safe now the basilisk where attacks. did the basilisk come from Fox blinds it and the hat gives you a sword you kill the basilisk and get bitten in the process but you manage to destroy Riddle and the diary with the fang yay Harry you're a genius you're brilliant you are revived, revived by, by Phoenix, Phoenix tears, tears. Okay. Oh, last Woo! one. That was it. Nice. Ron, Ginny, Lockhart, and yourself escape the Chamber of Secrets with the help of the Phoenix. There are many questions you'd rather not answer, and D Dumbledore helps you out. You ponder whether you should be in Slytherin as you speak Parseltongue, to which Dumbledore reveals that the sword you received is the sword of Godric Gryffindor, and only a true Gryffindor can summon it. Lucius Malfoy shows up with Dobby, and you trick him into setting him free. Brilliant. What lies next year? Tread carefully. Well, we got uh We messed up twice. twice. I don't know. I feel like messing up on the year. I mean, we did we did the math wrong, but we We just didn't we, think about it right. Yeah, exactly. We treaded not so carefully. We should have treaded more carefully. Carefully or yeah, yes. that's a word. Interesting quiz. Yeah. It took After us three, three tries, tries, but I liked it. Me too. And it did have chapter titles, which is not our forte, but we didn't even we read didn't them. Even we just kind of skimmed what they through. Were. It was just like, I think there was a question per chapter. Yeah. That's what was happening. Very clever. We graduated our second year in 1993, not 92. Well, it started in 92. Yes. I just wasn't uh, thinking at all. Nor like was I. Nor yeah. was I. 
So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can follow us at Potter Masters on Sporkle as well. And leave a comment if you have any thing you'd like to say or any quizzes you want us to play. Yeah, we want to play all the fun Harry Potter quizzes, so We're send just links. All the quizzes. Every single quiz we should play. As long as it's Harry Potter. Uh, and we do this every Monday, so we'll see you next week.